little bit of a look at what just happened here. Uh, the first program I ran ran a spiral around this 7 8 diameter uh, dowel and that is going to give me a mark where to make a saw cut in this tap. The second program actually cut a quarter by eighth inch slot all the way through then it hesitated or it stopped it rotated four degrees moved over thirty thousandths and ran what essentially a four degree uh, taper down one side so this is uh, a little bit wider than our eighth inch up here but it's still eighth inch where it pokes through at the other side so when I put the cutter in here I can put a wedge alongside of it uh, to hold it in place okay this gives a little bit better look at uh, the tap and I've penciled in the spiral so you can see a little bit better uh, this is four threads per inch I'm gonna do a 90 degree thread rather than a 60 this is the cutting or excuse me this is the back end of the uh, mortise where the cutter will go and this end you can see is wider it is wedged down I've got to take a chisel and clean up these round corners and then make the cutter to fit it this is really a prototype this is a piece of 2 by 4 it's probably not hard enough uh, to, to be my tap but I might give it a try just as a test run and I also I'll have to take a back saw and cut these grooves deeper I just uh, use the cutter to give myself a, uh, a little bit of a, a kerf to start the saw blade but I have to have a very thin kerf there I don't have an end mill that's small enough Here's my prototype and my uh, finished part. Uh, this was just a piece of two by four I tested the programs on. And you can see I've already squared up the mortise in here and fit the blade to it just to test it out. Um, this one's going to have to be squared up and enlarged just a little bit uh, to get my cutter to fit through. And then a tiny wedge will go in alongside of it to hold it in place. And you can see on the back side of this, now let me zoom in on this a little bit more. Okay, there's the front of the mortise, or the top. And there's the back. You can see it's just an eighth inch across. It'll be a little bigger than that once I get it filed out and, and squared up. I also went uh, a little deeper on the V-groove on this spiral to give me a better uh, start for my saw to, to ride in so I can stay accurate in there as I cut those deeper with a with a back saw. Well, I got the, the part mortised out and you can see the, the cutter that I've got to still cut this part off but you can see the point of it sticking out here and if you look closely you can see the wedge in behind it. This is the fat end and this is the the narrow end back here so I can just use a screwdriver to push that back out uh, when you're cutting the threads this is probably a little deeper than I would start the first cut um, and as you make progressive passes you keep moving the uh, cutter out farther until you get to your full depth This morning I turned down a couple of cylinders, uh, one out of pine and one from hard maple, and these are inch and an eighth outside diameter, straight along the length. Um, this will be the pine one is just for a test cut. I'm going to cut this as a as a screw, and hopefully, if the test cut proves out, I'll go ahead and make this hard maple uh, screw, and it'll be a usable part for for my next project. Well, my test run worked out pretty good. The threads are nice and sharp. It, on the pine, it's got a lot of uh, tear out, depending on where the green direction changed in the wood. Uh, some of it's a little worse over here. So, on the uh, finished one, I'm going to uh, change the feed rates a little bit. So as it gets, as the cut gets deeper, uh, I'll continue to slow the feed rate down with each pass and see if that has any impact. And hopefully, it'll work out. Uh, the pine one chipped out worse on my other part too, 
So I'm hopeful that the maple will, will give me some nice looking threads. predicted my hard maple screw came out a lot better than the pine one you can see I've got a lot of ragged tear out back on that on that pine I have one tiny little tear out right here on this thread that's the only chip in any of the threads it came out as perfect as I could have hoped for so uh, I've re uh, written the program to uh, incorporate the feeds that I used on this one where they progressively get slower and uh, I'd run it on 80% so I went ahead and, and adapted the feed so I can run it 100% and get the same feed rate. So I'm ready to make some more now. All I need is some more material. So next weekend I'll have to make a trip to the lumber supply. <laughs> 